So one rumored release that many people have been curious about is the Grand Theft Auto Remastered Trilogy, which was rumored to include Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas in one package with enhanced graphics and gameplay enhancements that would modernize these three old classics. And a lot of people have been curious to see what kinds of upgrades will this game receive? Are they substantial enough to make this a worthwhile package? And we finally got a confirmation and trailer today on October 22nd, 2021. And I'd like to first show you the trailer and kind of react alongside and then relay my thoughts on everything overall. So first things first, for those who haven't seen it, here we go. Uh, yeah, obviously uh, a mature rated game. Right there and then, you can already see the enhanced textures, the lighting, the skyboxes, and the models. You can see the reflections on the surfaces. Animations definitely look better. Things just look more colorful, especially Vice City. And it definitely just looks high resolution. Like, the graphics do look undeniably better. Like, it... This is actually a, a bigger enhancement than I was personally expecting. I This is definitely not just some basic port where they just up the resolution and frame rate and just called it a day. They clearly sat down and like went through the game's assets and went through a lot of stuff and gave it a boost. And there it is, November 11th, 2021 for PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch alongside PC. So here are a couple examples of shots and some of the differences and side-by-side -side comparisons. So here's the shot from the original San Andreas. And then once we get that swipe, you can see just how much more colorful it is now. Uh, and things definitely do look sharper, and especially the background there with the sky and the sunset or sunrise. Uh, it definitely looks neat. Now, this is where people might be a little thrown off. The character models definitely have a cartoony style. It reminds me a bit of Sims, even. But do keep in mind that while I get this might throw some people off, especially by modern standards, by GTA 4 and 5 standards, you know, the graphics were what they were. Back in the day, you know, these games came out on, you know, PlayStation 2 and they couldn't, unless they remade all three games, essentially, they had to essentially stylize the graphics a little bit to make up for those older, blockier graphics. And for me, I feel like this is a good compromise. But at the end of the day, whether people like the stylistic choices made here to make up for the graphical disparity between modern day games and what graphics were back in PS2 days, you know, it's going to be subjective ultimately. Now this shot right here really shows a significant difference. So these are the graphics from GTA 3 in the PS2 days, the OG graphics, you can see how blocky everything looks, lack of advanced lighting effects, but as soon as we get that swipe, the differences are kind of immediate and you can see the reflections here, the metallic surface is a lot more apparent. The sun, kind of the way the light shines and all the shadows and the high resolution, like it, it absolutely looks better. Fast forwarding a little bit, you get this shot right here and you can see the uh, graphical fidelity on the tracks here and the cityscape in the back. Next up, we have a shot of the cityscape of Vice City. And I mean, if we freeze the frame here, you can see just uh, how low resolution and how low poly models look and just the textures and everything. It, you know, it definitely looks very old, but as soon as we get that swipe, you can see how much more colorful everything looks, which really matches with the vibes that Vice City is trying to evoke. Then he has a comparison for San Andreas, freezing the shot. You can see even the shirt just looks incredibly muddy, the models, everything, very much PS2 days, but as soon as the swipe happens, there's just so much going on in terms of lighting and shadows and Again, textures, models, everything. Now, the enhancements in this particular shot are definitely more subtle, but if you look at the model here, for example, you can see just uh, that that's definitely been enhanced, and there's just more lighting effects going on, a bit of, like, bloom. There are stars in the sky, whereas I think if we go back here uh, before the swipe, you know, the stars either are less noticeable or are just flat-out non-existent. Then you can see the reflections on the car here, and that actually is a relevant point for this next comparison shot from Grand Theft Auto 3, where you get to see this kind of very flat looking environment and vehicle. And then once the swipe happens, you see the rain effects are definitely 
sort of denser, the reflections on the car, especially in motion. Uh, if we kind of play the video, you can see the, the reflections here that definitely enhance things. The lights on the cars and the way that affects the lighting of the environments and how it all interacts with each other. Next up, we got this shot. And now you can see right here the lack of fingers, which uh, wasn't uncommon back in the day. But as soon as we fast forward and kind of check out the enhanced graphics, you can actually see individual fingers articulating and moving on their own, which uh, is, you know, definitely an improvement. And also as the swipe is happening, you can see just how polygonal this model looks. But then as soon as the swipe is complete, uh, you can see the jawline is less polygonal, it just more seamlessly blended with the model of the, the neck and the body and everything. Here's another one from San Andreas, the trees, the textures, and then the lack of reflections. That's all very apparent, especially after we swipe and uh, take a look at the remaster graphics where the trees models definitely look significantly enhanced. The textures are far better and far more realistic looking and details like the reflections on the rear lights and the model just looking less polygonal, it all just makes for a better looking shot, for sure. Here's another one where I'll go back and forth. This is before, this is after. Once again, before, lack of fingers, especially apparent here. And then after, the lighting differences are definitely noticeable, the articulating fingers. So yeah, you get the idea. And this is the type of remaster that reminds me of what Nintendo did with Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask on 3DS. They are far from remakes, but if you compare the before and after, I mean, this is before and then when we play the video, you can see the swipe happening and just everything from models to textures to lighting, just a dramatic improvement overall. It's that kind of remaster where the game still relatively feels old, but they did what they could to add a new coat of paint. And uh, in the case of Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask 3D, I really love what they did with that. I'm going to have to play the trilogy and kind of really play it for myself and see everything the trilogy has to offer before I can really decide how good this game really looks and you know whether I, I like the style that they went for. But just from first impressions, based off of the, the trilogy definitive edition trailer, I'm so far personally liking it. It, it looks pretty good. It looks better than I anticipated it would look. And generally, impressions around the internet have been positive. If you look at the likes to dislikes ratio here, for example, it's mostly positive, and people in the comments are generally pleased by what they're seeing here. Rockstar also confirmed on Twitter that this trilogy will have modernized controls, which is a massive improvement. That's another thing. They're adapting GTA V controls and mechanics into this uh, trilogy remaster and definitive edition to bring those close in line to modern day gameplay and that I'm really actually looking forward to the fact that the game isn't just gonna look better but play significantly better is certainly something that may make this remaster worthwhile here's somebody else saying that a first person mode would be sweet I mean GTA 5 has one so I wonder if they're gonna adapt that into the original trilogy uh, but I guess we'll find out in due time. Here's somebody else saying, I like how they made GTA 3's tone and atmosphere more dark, while they also made GTA Vice City's more colorful and vibrant. Disappointingly, they didn't start the trailer with, ah, shit, here we go again, or end it with, ah, shit, here we go again. Kind of a missed opportunity there, Rockstar. Some people enjoy how they kept the cartoony style of the originals. It does look a little weird in some parts, but it will be easy to get used to. Really excited for this, and it's clear that a lot of effort has gone into this. I would agree with this. This definitely feels like more than a lazy cash grab. It does feel like they put some thought and consideration into all of this. I'll admit initially I didn't have plans to get this trilogy as I had assumed that it was just going to be an up port, but seeing how much they changed, I'm very curious to actually try this out. On Twitter in particular, some people are not pleased. While there are definitely many who are pointing out the improvements that are definitely there, I think it's definitely a false thing to claim, oh, there are no improvements whatsoever. But the stylistic aspect of that cartoony art style is definitely something that maybe some people aren't used to. For example, here is a tweet that reads, this is not worth $60 in this Twitter user's opinion. And clicking on this image, for example, you can see, you know, still shots of the characters from that trilogy. And yeah, I mean, it, there are aspects to it that does look a little, you know, it, it's going to take a bit of getting used to, but it just looks like they took the PS2 graphics and just kind of modeled around that rather than just building the character models from the ground up and remaking them to be more realistic, 
which again would delve into the remake territory rather than the remastered territory. And it's going to be subjective as to whether, you know, this looks fine for you or whether it throws you off. But for me, I guess having grown up playing these games and, you know, being used to the PS2 graphics and then seeing this level of enhancement, for me, this this looks fine. Though no doubt modders are going to go in and tweak some stuff and just potentially make it look even better and adjust some things so that maybe it looks a bit less uncanny as some people are perceiving these uh, images to be. If this were labeled as a remake, I'd be like this, you know, there's so many other remakes that did a, like Mafia, right? I think one of the Twitter users here pointed this out. Differences are definitely significant here. And this one's even called Definitive Edition, but this is definitely more remake territory where they built stuff from the ground up. And while I get that some people would have maybe liked a, a remake style enhancement akin to Mafia Definitive Edition, these are three games and remaking three games and building stuff from the ground up for three relatively sizable games I mean, that's uh, an enormous endeavor. I guess another way to put it would be that GTA V, the trilogy definitive edition is more akin to Mass Effect Legendary Edition, which did enhance aspects of gameplay, especially for the first game, but also overhauled graphics of the first game and enhanced little things here and there for the second and third. It's more, I think, akin to that, except because all three Grand Theft Auto games in this package are so old, all three of them had to be drastically, graphically overhauled in a remastered kind of scenario. As for pricing, we are talking about a $60 package. If we go to the official Rockstar website, you can pre-order on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, $60 across the board. And there are certainly conversations about whether a trilogy package of really old games is worth that $60. Well, for me, if it would have been just basically an up port with not a whole lot in terms of differences, except for high resolution and frame rates, then I would have been like charging $60 for this is ridiculous. But given the amount of effort that they put into uh, enhancing assets and graphics and effects and gameplay and controls and all these things, if all that comes together into a really cohesive and compelling package, this may very well be worth $60. This is three games in one and all three are seeing significant boosts, whereas something like, say, Mario 3D All-Stars, that was basically just three ports, basic ports with, you know, like Mario 64 didn't really get much in the way of a remaster or graphics enhancement. The enhancements for those games were relatively minor. This is definitely a lot more than that. Now, there is one dark cloud that's hanging over all of this, and that's the way Take-Two has been essentially going on a mod killing spree for Grand Theft Auto, where many mods, particularly ones that remaster older games or take an older game and bring it into a, a newer engine and stuff like that, those mods have been issued DMCAs across the board and with uh, Take-Two's and Rockstar's trigger-happy fingers on these mods. You know, there's certainly some resentment against Rockstar. While it's understandable that, you know, Rockstar's releasing their own remasters for these games, you know, these mods, I don't suspect they would have much of an impact on sales for the official remasters, which look significantly different. Take-Two could have let these mods slide and sell their own, and especially given that the modding scene is, I'd say, relatively niche. You know, it's definitely growing. It's a community that's gotten bigger and bigger over the years, but the average Joe doesn't know how to mod their games. They're going to just buy the official products, so... It just sucks that they had to take this approach for people who worked very hard on these mod projects that kept these older games alive and just the treatment of that community is unfortunate. So that is definitely something worth noting. And for those who are curious, like here is a Vice City remastered trailer. There are people who are already arguing, well, modders have done it better. And I guess that's going to be subjective. But here's footage of the Vice Cry remastered uh, mod project that probably got taken down at this point and I guess people will be comparing and contrasting you know what Rockstar did on the official level and then what modders have been doing unofficially but even with the remastered uh, Grand Theft Auto trilogy modders no doubt are going to dive in and implement their own enhancements and tweaks to further enhance the package with a foundation that is more modernized and more advanced than those older titles or the older versions of these titles. Now, one thing that really threw me off is this last bit here where on the official Rockstar Games website, it is stated that they'll be removing existing versions of the classic titles from digital retailers next 
week. And I'm not sure how compatible mods of the older versions will be with the newer versions of the trilogy. But given the amount of enhancements that I'm seeing from the trailer alone, I think there is a distinct possibility that compatibility will be broken. And by removing the classic titles from digital retailers, that's going to close off people's ability to download mods that were created specifically for those older versions of these games. But, you know, mod compatibility, that's something that I don't know much about yet. I guess that's something we'll find out when these games launch. But yeah, it's worth noting that they are removing the existing versions of the classic titles. And I don't know how that's going to sit with certain communities, especially the modding community and certain folks who want to preserve the classic versions of those games. Are you just no longer going to be able to purchase this? Is Rockstar going to go out of their way to ensure that they wipe those older versions from existence? I think that'd be, um, I don't know. For me, I don't like that idea. I am into the idea of game preservation. Like when Mass Effect Legendary Edition came out, they didn't just wipe out the original games. Those are still there. And then people can choose whether to play the Legendary Edition, if that's the version they prefer, or they can just go back to the originals. Like with Mass Effect 1, there's some people who don't like some of the graphics changes that they made in the Legendary Edition. There's some people who straight up like the moodier original version of Mass Effect more, at least on a graphical level. And so some people might want to go back to that. And that kind of preservation, I think, is important. And so this is disconcerting to me, and uh, we'll see how all this plays out. But with all said and done, as far as the worth of this package goes, the trailer has definitely given this package more worth than I initially anticipated. Uh, the differences are, you know, certainly not insignificant, and I'm especially looking forward to the gameplay enhancements, but the graphical enhancements here, to me look pretty neat and as someone who hasn't really gotten into the Grand Theft Auto modding scene just having that convenience of being able to experience better graphics by buying this one singular package at you know $60 price point for three enhanced games uh, or three enhanced old games uh, that's a compelling proposition for me personally but I'd love to hear what your thoughts and opinions are on all of this is this trailer compelling you to purchase Grand Theft Auto, the Trilogy Definitive Edition, or are you in the camp of this, the graphical enhancements aren't enough, or uh, you don't like some of the changes that they made and certain aspects of the style, the art style, and the way the models look so cartoony and stuff, does that throw you off, or are you fine with where you e what you're seeing here so far? And are the gameplay changes, the, the fact that they're modernizing the gameplay to be more like Grand Theft Auto V for all three games, is that enough to... Uh, compel you to purchase this package. Share your thoughts in the comments below and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Gear. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.